How would you rank consumer confidence uh, throughout all of this through the uh, changing rates and, and also uh, the inventory level changes? How is consumer confidence? Are, are buyers still out there actively searching? And how about sellers? That, that's a tough one. I had a really long conversation with a good friend of mine, actually a loan officer uh, friend of mine today, and we had that exact conversation. It's, it's, if I'm being very honest, I think there's a lot of fear in the market right now. I think that the crash that we that we had here in 2007, 2008 is still way too close in the front of people's minds, and people are scared that's going to happen again. So I'm seeing a lot of consumer fear. I'm seeing a lot of people actually sitting on their hands and doing nothing because they're scared that there is going to be some sort of crash, which again, I could make every argument. I could spend hours talking about arguments for why I don't believe that's going to happen. Um, but I think the general consumer, when you're seeing inflation go through the roof, cost of living go through the roof, and when you're seeing um, uh, you know, everything in, our, in the U.S. economy really change over the last 6 to 12 months, people are a little bit scared here. Uh, you're, you're seeing a lot of fear-based decision-making uh, by individuals. But when you really look at that, when you get inflation, when inflation happens, how those prices generally go up? Yes, the cost of the money is higher, but the, the truth is, generally speaking, economically speaking, you, you, you will continue to see more of a slow and steady increase in home prices as well because cost of living is going up, and, and housing prices tend to follow that. So, But the consumer confidence is, I would say the best word I have is fearful. People are fearful right now. 